Welcome to B2B Tech Talk, Ingram Micro's destination for information on technology, business, and the people that make them run. This episode is sponsored by Xvantage, Ingram Micro's game-changing platform designed to help your business run better and grow faster. My next guest knows a thing or two about going the distance. He's Jesus Crespo, CEO of Florida-based IT solutions provider Netvoix. When he's not competing in triathlons, he's busy growing his business, serving his loyal customers, and is an active member of Ingram Micro's SMB Alliance. Jesus, welcome to the show. Thank you. How have you been? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Thank and, you for the invitation. Oh, of course, anytime. Now, I am very intrigued to learn more about Netvoix. I have heard so many wonderful things, and it is an honor and a privilege to meet you. But now I want to hear about your business. Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I represent Netvoix. Uh, we are an IT solution provider uh, based out of Florida, uh, Western. Um, we focus on managed services and uh, infrastructure. Uh, you know, projects, technical support, and, you know, we have a, a customized base type of, you know, organization. So we focus on the customer and what the customer needs, and we kind of align ourselves to be able to provide them, uh, you know, the best of the solutions that we can, you know, using all the experience and then the partners and the communities that we belong. You know. That's fantastic. Now, you have very loyal customers. When we spoke, um, a lot of your customers are repeat customers and keep coming back. What's the secret to their loyalty? Well, I think the most important thing uh, is our commitment, you know, and, and the way we embrace their challenges and their, their you know, their needs, their, their problems, and, and how we take that as a, you know, as, as, as our challenge and, and we work hard to, to make sure we address or we find the, the right solutions for them. Uh, I think, you know, when you do that and they feel it and they see it, I think that creates, you know, uh, an impact that, that, you know, that makes the relationship, you know, have more than just, you know, a solution. Sure. Uh, and, and, and consistently doing that through the years keeps, you know, the loyalty, you know, keeps them uh, try, continue coming back to you and, and trusting on you and relying on you for, for their needs. So you're a trusted, indispensable partner. That's the best way to create loyalty. Well, thank you. You're an MSP. Um, what types of services do you offer? On the managed services side, we go from full IT mm -hmm. to network infrastructure that support managed services only. So we basically, you know, uh, we try to understand where the customer is at and what they need, and then we customize the, the solution for them. So, so we have customers where we only do the network. Mm -hmm. We have customers where we do the network and, you know, end user support, computers, you know, full managed IT. Uh, so it depends on what, what, you know, what the customer is. Because in a lot of cases, they do have staff that takes care of a lot of the things. They have existing relationship with other companies for, let's say, for the computers or software. Uh, and then we just, you know, complement the remaining you know, needs they have. So in those cases, we only focus on certain areas and other ones that they really need, you know, all, all the support, we, we obviously provide, you know, everything. Sure. How, how did you become a partner? How and when did you become a partner of Ingram Micros? Um, literally, when the company was founded, uh, the second day. Like wow. literally, you know, the company started and, and we became Ingram Micro. Uh, that was one of the first steps is creating an Ingram Micro account. And right after that, uh, because obviously before the company, I had some previous, you know, uh, interaction with Ingram Micro and the previous company that I used to uh, work with. And, uh, and then also we joined the SMB Alliance pretty quickly as well. And I've uh, been part of that community since the beginning of, of you know, of, of our existence. That's incredible. Yeah. What has that experience been like, being part of a community where some of the partners could be competitors, but it doesn't seem to feel that way when you're at an SMB event. Everyone seems almost like family. Yeah, I don't see the other companies as competitors. Uh, my experience is always being... Uh, you know, we always find 
ways to kind of work together. Uh, when I look at the market and, and you know, the uh, amount of companies that need what we do is so vast, you know. Uh, and also we started in, in, in South Florida, but we have customers nationwide, you know, internationally. So we also, through other companies, are able to, you know, reach, yeah. you know, other places. So uh, even local companies that are in like our neighborhood, we work together. You know, I, we complement things that they don't do. Uh, we rely on each other. So, you know, for me, the SMB Alliance is, is being like a family. Uh, they always, you know, help uh, on anything that you need, like whatever it is. Uh, they always try to find somebody or themselves to guide you. Uh, they help us, you know, with creating new relationship with, with uh, vendors, you know, like manufacturers. Uh, they help us through the process. They help us to get the right training. So for, for us, it's being like very, I, I would say, a key thing that we help us to be where we are. So it allows you, membership allows you to extend your geographic reach and expand your portfolio. Absolutely, yeah. And also through through some of the members, we also were able to uh, establish relationship and also we get business too. You know, we complement uh, other uh, SMB members' capabilities you know, because not all of them focus on uh, specializing on things that we do. And then we, we kind of work together. That's we fantastic. service customers together. I think this is really like one of the things that for me are very, you know, uh, huge and, and, and very uh, like if other companies in the alliance will will try to do that, I think we will all be in, in a, you know, have more, more reach and, and, and more business too. That's fantastic. Okay. So what is over the next six to 12 months, what do you see? Is there, what are your plans for growth? Well, our plans for growth uh, are obviously, you know, uh, we, we have a new sales director, uh, which has a lot of experience and we've been working with, you know, different angles, you know, with Cisco, with the SMB team, uh, trying to put together a new uh, marketing strategy. Uh, so we have a couple of things that we're putting together, uh, hopefully for our next year to get, uh, you know, we, we usually get customers through referrals and the majority of our business is always being recommendation from something we did that the customer was happy and they recommended another customer. Uh, uh, and we're trying to, to balance that out a little bit more with some proactive, you know, uh, marketing activities and then sales driven activities. So we're working on it. Yeah, we're so you've got a ways. lot of things yeah. going on. And, and also Mary is helping us with some of those ideas. Yes. That's fantastic. Now you are um, in the Southeast, your Southeast Florida, and there's a lot of SMB members that are kind of concentrated in that area. Uh, you just finished something that less than 1% 1% of the world gets to do, and that's a triathlon. First of all, how did you do? You look great, by the way, considering you just finished a triathlon. Yeah, I did very good. Thank you for asking. Uh, yeah, it was an Ironman, and it was long. Uh, you did was, an Ironman? It was 140 miles. Uh, the swim got shortened to 1,000 meters because of the weather conditions, uh, but the bike and the run stayed the same. Uh, so it was a 112-mile bike. Uh, a full marathon run after, and I did 10 hours and 16 minutes, something like that. So I, I, I feel good, you know, I got to the finish line, you know, uh, strong. So my training paid off. So that, that what I, I can say is that if you, if you do what you need to do, if you train hard, you know, like if you do your homework on race day, you know, you, 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 you get what you, you know what you prepare for. So absolutely. What can that translate a lot to, to business? To business. Yeah. yeah. If you do I, your homework, if you work hard and you know you don't lose focus on what you're trying to do, it pays off. I was gonna ask you, what was your takeaway? I've done marathons before, seven marathons. No Iron Man. I don't think I will ever accomplish that feat. When you finished what were you thinking and what were you feeling? Because I know what it feels like to cross that finish line. And what's next for you? Well, for me, uh, the Ironman obviously is a lot of training hours. And, you know, when I was preparing for it, obviously I, have, I had to focus a lot on that. So when I crossed that finish line, I, the first thing I thought about was 
I need to start putting more time into my family, my kids, you know, and, and, and to networks, you know, yeah. like, like I'm going to lower my intensity of the training and I'm going to focus on my customers, you know, my family and, and to, you know, grow the business with, with my team, you know. That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Jesus, thank you so much for your time today. This has thank been you. wonderful getting to know you, getting to know more about Netvoix, and it sounds like the future is bright. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. the inviting. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode and you want to continue the conversation online, use hashtag B2B Tech Talk.